Sean, every coach has a certain style, certain unique thing they do and interest. And just talk about Mike McDaniel's unique style of coaching and how much you guys embrace that. It seems like every time you talk to a guy, they're like, he's a player's coach, you guys run through a wall. Just talk about that, that intent that he brings, but in his own way. Uh, in his own way. Um, coaches, I mean, he's just a good person. Like, you know, it's, it's not hard to be um, like all in for a coach when they're a good person. Uh, and I think that's like the baseline as low as it goes. Like, he's just a super cool dude, you know, great family man. And you can tell he's honest. So people just buy into what he says and is 100% on the same pace as him, like mentally. Everybody's, everybody's, you know, one mind. Just talk about his age aspect. You know, it seems like he's very in tune with you guys, you know. Younger cat who knows about social media and keeps up on stuff. He's kind of hip to the game. I feel like that's a real like old head thing to ask. Not because like you're old head, but I just feel no. Really, I feel like like a lot of people think that you can be out of touch if you get older. But like really, it's just a matter of if you you know like things going on in social media or not. Like you know what I'm saying. So and it happens to be that he's younger. It doesn't really matter if he's younger. You know, he just is who he is. So everybody every vibes with him. But like if he was younger and he like wasn't cool, then he wasn't gonna be cool. You know what I'm saying. So that's basically how I see it. Sean, if you're, if you're able to share what the priority was for you, that was good. For you, Hold on, you got to restart. restart. Gregory, restart. What, what the priority was as far as personal improvement, what area that you decided with Steve Gregory and Josh that you wanted to work on? Obviously, you, you did a ton well last year, but was there one specific area you wanted to work on? Uh, I think it was just my overall development as a professional really was um, – I mean, you know, things will come in practice, and as things start to speed up, you know, tackling, and, um, you know, angles to the ball, things like that. But me conducting myself as more of a professional was probably most of the thing. And that was really me, honestly. Like, um, they've, they've supported me and to just push me in that direction, rather, regardless of what it is. But it's mostly just me, you know, focusing that push into a specific area. Do you think you'll uh, buy into the notion that year one to year two is the biggest jump for players? Do you feel that happening for you this year? Um, I mean, I haven't really got to year two yet, so like, I can't really tell you that. But um, I feel like it's important, yeah. I mean, I feel like every year you have to improve. Um, I don't know what year it is when I'll stop, like, you know, getting better every year, and I'll be the best I can be. But right now, you know, I'm always on the the, up, the uphill battle. So, um, yeah, that's basically. You feel I have to think less though this, this year. For sure, yeah. I mean, as you, I mean, I'm already a year into the into the league, right? So things got start to slow down, just like as it did as I started playing more. Um, but. Yeah, like, you know, just reacting more is definitely, it's a lot easier. But I, that's how college was, like, you know, from freshman year to sophomore year. You get in there, you're comfortable, you know, you, you have your own swag, your own atmosphere. So, um, you know, think, things have to slow down as you get into it. So. Javon, you really mentioned good. a minute ago uh, conducting yourself, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. As, as a professional, which kind of surprised me because last year as a rookie, you seemed so mature for your age. Is there something that you didn't do last year that you're trying to correct this year or? Not really, but uh, I don't know. Just I just feel like um, I just feel like I'm getting older. You know, I'm 22 now, getting up there in age. So <laughs> no, nah, I just feel like I'm getting older. So I would just you know conduct myself a little bit more of a mature manner, even though it's already seeming that way. So 22 is ancient. <laughs> what does it mean to have the group? Like, you guys didn't really change much on defense. Yeah. And you said like when you started playing, I mean, you, you were on it pretty quick. Yeah. So how much better can this defense be now? One more year together. I feel like it can be a, a lot better. You know, it's um, that's a great question. I feel like, as a collective, like as a whole defense, it's amazing that we're all back in one area. Um, it's really important, and it's it's not really it's rare, honestly, to have the whole group, like everybody in the group, back. Uh, so I'm excited. It's comfortable in the room. Everybody knows each other, like you know. Uh, so you know that we're going through all these like team activities and practice and adversity. You know, you just get you get more and more. Um, you know, wound together, uh, brought together as a group. So well, when, you, know, you, you mentioned when you started playing more, you, you were comfortable from the beginning, but you, you, you really turned it on. How much more comfortable leadership-wise were you once you started playing more? And now you said you're, you're an old 22. But, <laughs> yeah. But, like, you, you can lead as a 22-year-old as a in, that, in that secondary. Group. Yeah, uh, I feel real comfortable. Um, I feel like I tried to earn a lot of the, my teammates' respect through, through my play first, um, and then, you know, so they know that when I do, if something happens and I do say something, it comes from a place of love because I want them to get better and I would want them to push me the same way. Uh, it's not necessarily me just like yelling at them. So that's kind of how I see leading. Uh, you know, anybody can be a leader. You can anybody can say something. So, um, but now that I'm like a year in and it's the same group and they know what I can do, I feel comfortable being able to, um, you know, correct them if there's a situation that I know that I can help them with. Two more. Your first, uh, your first you know, you're entering the league, so focused on forming the combine and grabbing. What has this offseason been like? 
I didn't either. What's this offseason been like when you're already on your own? I'm away. I, I hate it. I'm away. I'm away. Um, like the came out of nowhere. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. Um, in the off season for the second year, I mean, honestly, I was kicking it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was making sure I had fun, enjoyed myself. It's a long time, but you gotta like, you gotta plan it accordingly. Because I still like to, you know, work hard, and it's kind of built in the athlete to like just nonstop work because you're gonna lose it if you take a break. Um, but uh, no, yeah, you know, I took some time off, enjoyed myself, enjoyed my family, but I made sure that I was still getting that work in. So, yeah. Last question. Let's talk about the, the second half of the year. You guys obviously look like a, a different defense, at least in our eyes. Yeah. How much do you guys talk about being that second half of the year unit versus earlier in the year? I think the, the second half of the year team is who we are, really. Um, the first half of the year, you know, we were trying to come together. And then once we got it together, as you saw, you know, we started winning games, started coming together as a defense, making plays. So uh, we just talk about it as who we are now and that we can build on that because that's not the extent of who we are. We can get better. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's everybody's mindset, too.